Welcome back everyone. So in my last video about Tangent Wallet, I talked about all of the features of the company. I talked about, you know, where they're based. I talked about all of the different features, security, uh, that type of thing. And also just kind of gave a brief overview to using the wallet. But today I'm going to be showing you an in-depth tutorial of how to use the wallet. So it's gonna be really straightforward. At first, we're gonna start with just the basics of how to send and receive. Then we're gonna dive into how to swap different assets right that's also very straightforward and then we're going to be getting into the fun stuff which is interacting with decentralized applications or dApps or also dexes if we so choose and this is going to be through wallet connect so i'm going to be showing you how to engage with those applications uh, via that process straight through the wallet. So it's gonna be a fun one. And also if you have not purchased the Tangent Wallet, I actually have an exclusive discount with them. So if you guys want to get a 10% discount with Tangent and you know purchasing the actual physical cards, then make sure to check out the link in the description below where you will receive a 10% discount off your purchase. This is actually an exclusive link that they hooked up with me. I'm not sponsored by them, but it is an affiliate link. So I just wanna mention that. Now let's dive right in. All right, so here is the Tangem application. Now, make sure when you guys are downloading the application, you guys are going straight through the website, which of course, I'm going to link the website and the link in the description below. And when you do, uh, make sure to check on the website, you can see where the application is listed. So you, you this is to make sure that you download the actual application and not some, you know, third party uh, scamware application, right? So that's really important. So with that being said, here is just the brief overview of the wallet. It's really simple, straightforward to use. Uh, if you guys want to add any type of tokens, you would just scroll down and then you would click on manage tokens. And from here, you can just scroll through all of the different assets. Like let's just say I want to add in Chainlink, one of the uh, blue chips in my, in my opinion, and also just an OG. And I wanna add the ERC20 version of Chainlink, then I will just click on this button and just toggle that via there. So I'm just going to click save changes. And now this will be actually brought to right under my other ERC20 tokens, which obviously we have Ethereum, which is a coin. And then we have Tether and USDC on, um, you know, Ethereum. So those are tokens and then quants and Chainlink, obviously as well, a token. Um, now from here, if we wanted to send or receive any type of asset, we would just click on the one that we would want to receive. Like, let's just say for this example, Ethereum. So I'd click on Ethereum. And then from here, I can see the QR code. So if I wanted to just scan that via you know, my computer webcam or via you know another phone or another device, I could just have that there. Also, I could just take that address and click on copy and there I'll have it copied. Or you can also click on share and then that will prompt you to share it via a couple different methods. You can actually airdrop it to your MacBook. You can send it via email. You can send it to a friend, anything like that if you want to share that address. Um, and then of course, remember which address and um, also chain you're using. So in this case, it's obviously on Ethereum. So you'd make sure you're sending to that address via Ethereum. And when you do, I would also make sure you test out with a small transaction first, right? We even have Vitalik Buterin, one of the founders of Ethereum, uh, who actually still, when he's making transactions via Ethereum, he sends with small transactions first. So it's really important to do to make sure, you know, you're not gonna all of a sudden send out all of your funds into, you know, the ether, if you will, right? Just send it out in, into nowhere. So you wanna make sure you're sending to the right address. And to do this, uh, the most safe way possible is to send with a small transaction first, and therefore you can confirm your address, right? So from here, uh, we would just send it to that address. If we wanted to send it, we would then click on that send button down there, and then we can just click on however much we want to send. So I have a balance of 0 0.04987. So let's just say I wanted to send 0 0.0, let's just say two. I could do that uh, there. And then above that amount, you would just click on the address and you would either paste it in from your clipboard, which isn't the most safest way actually, you, you need to be careful with that. But you could also scan it via a QR code uh, if you just click on that button 
to the right of the paste button. And then you can see the network fee. If you just toggle that, you can see the low, normal, and priority. Basically what this means is you can kind of put your transaction ahead of others if you pay more. So the priority would be a little bit more expensive than the normal and the priority would be a little bit faster than the normal. And then the low would be if you just want to do the cheapest amount, uh, but it'll make your transaction be, you know, at the end of the line. So therefore, uh, you know, it's going to take a little while when you send that transaction. So earlier I added Chainlink to the wallet. Let's click on that and maybe let's swap some, you know, USDT, which I also have in my wallet. I have around 148 USDT. Uh, so let's swap some of that into Chainlink for the sake of this tutorial. So on here, I would click on the asset that I want to swap it into. Of course, I'll make sure that it's on the same chain. So in this case, it's on Ethereum and I'll just click on swap. So from here, I'm going to click on the Ethereum logo and I'm just going to click on tether and now from here i'm also going to click on this little you know arrow icon so i can swap those now i'm going to type in from usdt i'm going to type in for the sake of this tutorial let's let's transfer around 25 usdt into 3.745 uh, chain link or link and from here I'll, you know, for the network fee, I'll just have priority. So you can click on normal or priority. In this case, it's just going to be normal. And then also quotes include an additional tangent commission of 0.35%. And of course, for them, this helps us deliver the top of the line product. So it's meant to pay tangent people, right? Um, but it's also powered by one inch. So, you know, the swaps aren't that expensive and they're actually a pretty good deal when you think of it. Now from here, I would just give permission uh, and then I can just click on approve. And when I do, it's going to prompt me for face ID. And, and then also we're gonna be taking the card and touching it to the back of the phone. Now it has done, boom. So that transaction is now waiting uh, to process right now. So while that transaction is now processing, I also wanna show you guys another feature. So if you guys want to add, you know, a token or coin that, you know, isn't necessarily uh, listed directly onto the, the Tangent platform, what you can do here is click on manage tokens and you can also hit this little plus icon next to manage tokens right to the right of that you would click on network and then in this case you will have all of these different networks of different um, you know projects that you can use so for example like if i wanted to add an ethereum based asset but it's not necessarily listed on ethereum what i could do is just click on the network and then i would go to the website of that specific project and you know i would find out what the contract address is you can also do that through coin market cap and other like coin listing websites usually they have the address listed there but i think the best way to actually go about this is to go to the website directly and then pasting the contract address and then from here you can give it a custom name as well so you just go again click the uh, contract address on the website paste it in there and then from there you would use you know any type of name that you would like to remember that asset by and then from here you can also share the token symbol so usually that means the ticker symbol and then from here also you can change this so the bip44 coin type in this case let's just say it, it was on ethereum I would just go and find Ethereum on here. Just click on that right there. And that's one way to get a custom token that's not necessarily listed on Tangium directly. All right, so I showed you guys how to receive different assets. I showed you how to send different assets. I showed you how to also swap different assets on the platform. So now let's dive into an application. Let's try to use Wallet Connect and engage with another project or application. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to be engaging with a platform called Stargate Finance. And I also just wanna mention, of course, this is not sponsored by Stargate Finance. I've actually never used Stargate Finance before, but today for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna be engaging with this platform. So what is Stargate Finance? Stargate Finance is a decentralized crypto exchange with modern features that aim uh, to deliver a fully composable native asset bridge. As a liquidity transport protocol, 
the platform allows users to add liquidity to various pools, stake assets, and transfer native assets. Founded in 2022, Stargate Finance is a cross-chain DEX that was built by the Layer Zero Labs team that was designed to be a major competitor to Synapse Protocol. The Stargate application allows users to swap one-to-one -one native assets cross-chain, which include USDC, USDT, BUSD, FRAX, ETH, and other tokens. So Stargate has a native token called STG that is used as the governance token for the protocol and users are paid out STG tokens as an incentive to deposit stable coins that provide liquidity for cross chain swaps. So essentially you deposit stable coins or other assets like these. And then from there, you are paid out in STG tokens as an incentive for doing so. So they also, like I said, here is the token. It's actually ranked 168, which is pretty good for a LP token. And with that, it's had its rises, it's had its falls, but overall it's kind of trading like a crab, right? Kind of up and down. Uh, it actually had a peak right at the start in April of 2022 at around $4. And then it fell all the way down to around 39 cents. And then it kind of went up to a dollar, went down to around 40 cents previously. It's been up again somewhat recently to, you know, a little over a dollar. And then it's fallen down again in, you know, right now it's trading at around 60, 66 cents, 65 cents in that range. So first of all, let's just open up the platform so we can just go to Stargate Finance. And from here, you're brought to the Stargate Bridge so we can transfer um, our assets from different chains to other chains, if that makes any sense. And by doing so, there are small fees and those fees are paid out in STG tokens to those who provide liquidity to the platform. So from here, we can click on farming and we can see the different farms that offer different yields to users who want to provide their liquidity of their tokens. So for example, here we can see that for USDT, uh, they're actually offering a 9.33% APY. Uh, this is also this is also on Metis, so I'm unfamiliar with Metis. I don't know much about it, so therefore I wouldn't engage with it. Um, there's also Frax on Avalanche at a 7.9%. There is, you know, a lot of different platforms here, right? There is uh, USDT operating by Metis. Uh, and that is on BNB. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna be providing USDT and this is going to be on Ethereum. I want it to be through Stargate as well. I don't know much about Metis, so therefore I'm not gonna be using this. It says here, this liquidity pool is supported by an external team. So therefore I am not going to be engaging with that platform. I can also see that there is only $2.6 million versus the one on Stargate through Ethereum, which is at 44.9 million. This shows that a lot, a lot more people obviously trust Stargate and Ethereum, right? Or at least have not trusted, but verified uh, this way that, that they would use this compared to Metis. So that's what that tells me. Also a 5.63% versus 5.82% is not really that much difference. So therefore, for the sake of this, I'm going to be engaging with this platform. But here you can also engage with, uh, there's different tokens as you can see here. And with that, there's obviously different chains and you can sort by the highest APY if you just want to get in on the highest APY and just kind of jump in and surf the different APYs, right? Of course, I mean surf because these numbers go up and down. Basically, they usually will obviously go up in APY when there is less liquidity. Uh, like in recent times in just the overall macroeconomic market, there's been less liquidity on tons of platforms, right? Most of them are starving for liquidity. This is why there's some banks offering a 4% APY anyways right now. So with that said, when you know they're starving for liquidity, they raise the amount that they pay out in the APY. And then when there's times where there's a lot of liquidity in the market, then obviously they would lower it, right? So it, it goes up and down. Um, some people, of course, will just surf this. So what do I mean by that? They will just kind of jump in to where the highest APYs are in the market and they'll just, you know, go to where it's paying highest. And then, you know, sometimes that's only for a day or two and then they'll swap out into the next big thing that's paying out. So that's not something for me. I don't typically do that, but you know, it's just something out there. Um, so let's get started with this. So first of all, I'm just gonna click on this for farming and we're gonna farm USDT and this is going to be on Ethereum. 
So how does this work? How do how do we get our USDT that is on our tangent wallet to Stargate Finance and start getting a nice little yield? How do we do that? Well, first things first, we would go up to connect wallet and then we're going to click on wallet connect. And then in this case, we can connect via all of our chains that we have on our wallet. But I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. I'm only going to use Ethereum. So right. So we have Avalanche. We have uh, BNB. We have Arbitrum. We have Phantom, Optimism, Matic. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to be engaging with my USDT that's on Ethereum. All right. So once we clicked on that, we are then prompted to scan this QR code. Now, this QR code is obviously individual straight for you. And you can either connect via mobile, you can connect via desktop, right? There's a couple of different options on what you can do here. But for Tangem, how this works is you go into the application and from here you click on the three buttons in the top right. And then from here, we would click on a wallet connect, which connect to dApps or decentralized applications. Click on that. From here, we're gonna open up a wallet connect session. So from here, we're gonna click on the plus icon and then it's gonna pull out our camera, right? how's it going everyone so we're just going to scan this qr code and then from here we are going to be prompted to join the session and it's going to obviously load and you know this could take a few minutes depending on um, the network so if you aren't prompted immediately once you scan the qr code you can actually close out the application and then reopen it and then in that case, sometimes it, it gives you the prompt there. So that's just something to also think about if it doesn't show you immediately. So here we have the prompt wallet connect request to start a session for Stargate. And it shows the network that I've requested and also the URL. And then it shows a couple of other different things. And I'm just going to click on start. All right. So now that we have connected our wallet, we can go over to pool and then from here you're going to see the amount of assets that you have and also how many networks uh, that you have as well available to stake so from here i am going to click on usdt ethereum and then i'm going to click on for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to put in 100 and by the way to do this you need to have a little bit of eth in your ethereum address so make sure you have that to pay for gas fees that's also really important and then from here i'm just going to approve it and from here we're going to see sign and send we're going to see this prompt that comes up to our mobile devices and just going to click on that from here we have the face id and then i'm just clicking the the card just putting it straight onto the nfc reader and then we have transaction has been successfully signed and sent to the blockchain node wallet balance will be updated in a while so from here we can see that this is approving and because this is on ethereum it could take a little bit of time to transfer so from here we're taking usdt eth to the farms on usdt eth through the stargate platform and then i will be able to put up my usdt into the pool and get around a five percent apy on that all right so now that i have signed that transaction and it's gone through we can now farm our lp tokens for 5.57% APY on Stargate rewards. So from here, we can just click on this prompt, go to farm, and now we're on the farming page and I can click on max. So in this case, it'll be 99.89 USDT um, that'll be used for the liquidity pool. And then I'm just going to approve that. And from here, I'll get the prompt. So sign in send, and I'm gonna take the card, face ID as well, boom right to the phone, done. Now we can see that this transaction is currently being approved and it's also pending as well. So this takes a little bit of time. And now, boom, once it's here, uh, approval confirmed, USDT approval on Ethereum. So now we have successfully started to stake $99 worth of LP tokens, getting a 5.9% APY. All right, so now last thing I'll do is go to manage tokens and then I will add Stargate. And in this case, it's gonna be on Ethereum. So I'm going to add it. So it'll be in my wallet and I'll be able to get Stargate rewards in the future. So that's how you can use the Tangem wallet. It's really straightforward, really simple. And again, if you guys are interested in buying the cards through Tangem, make sure to use the link in the description below where you will get an exclusive 10% discount on your order. This is something that I love to use. Of course, um, I use Ledger and a couple of other different wallets as well, hot and cold, but I think Tangem is a great 
cold custodial wallet uh, to be using. And of course, like I've said previously, it's also really good to just diversify and have many different wallets, right? Some for, you know, larger funds and some for smaller funds as well. So uh, yeah, if you guys like this tutorial, of course, do me a favor by liking the video and also subscribing down below. And anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.